Workwayman, Workwayman, does whatever Workwayman can. Can he make a comic feed? Yes, he can. He just did. Watch now a video from Greyman. A video from Great Maniacs Gather, still going through box S. Let's get through the rest of these. Oh, JLA from this run of JLA, huh? Let's get these done. Yeah. Number 68, Depths of Time. Number 69, the new lineup revealed. Plus, we go into the Obsidian Age. Obsidian Age. I think they um, reintroduced like an old character from Super Friends in this. It's like a Apache something or other. There's like a magic user. I'm sure he was originally in the uh, Super Friends, the cartoon show. And I'm sure he was brought back for this. Like the, I can't remember what he's called though. I think it's an obsidian age. Obsidian age is like a bunch of prehistoric, well, not quite prehistoric, but like old, like lost civilization sort of heroes, like Atlantis and uh, that kind of thing. I can't remember what any of them are called, but I'm pretty sure that was the premise. You can see from you look at the characters here, they look like that from a different time, you know, different era. Obviously, the obsidian age. That's a chunky one, number 75. The Obsidian Age, The Hunt for Aquaman, Conclusion. Yeah, I think you might start with Atlantis rising back out from the sea or something like that. Right, uh, picking up the pieces. Well, maybe this is the one last time I mentioned that at one point um, Plastic Man is left in the past and he sort of sticks in the same place for ages and he's like not picked up again to the future. So like thousands of years, he's like, yeah, and th I think that's after they found him, and they just, yeah, it was, um, mm. right, Atomnesia, that's like the Atom made the team, I'm not sure, if this, I think this is the, I think this is, um, the new guy, uh, Ryan Choi, I believe his name was, later on killed by Deathstroke, that's why I hate Deathstroke, he's an ass. He killed Ryan Choi, the Atom. I think that's the guy. I've got a feeling like maybe it's Apache Chief or something like that. I can't remember now. Um, I feel annoyed that I can't remember. I never watched the, um, the Super Friends cartoon, but I believe that's where he was originally from. Um, I uh, called him Manitou, but I think he was based on that character. Manitou, he's called. I'm sure he was based on an old um, Super Friends character. Next time we do a cover slinger, then it's Slinger's Choice. I'm going to do reflections. Reflections in eyes, reflections in silver s superheroes or super characters. Reflections in sunglasses, that kind of thing. I've seen quite a few covers like that recently. So I think that might be a cool a cool theme. Trouble in the Heartland, the White Rage. Part two of three, guilty. And part three of three, meet the new axis of evil. Yeah, I guess it's some racist thing or something. He looks like some kind of white power Nazi freak, doesn't he, that guy at the front? And it looks like an old Valkyrie. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Stream of subconsciousness. Superman seems completely oblivious while other people are being killed by his cloaks. Drowned in his cloak somehow. Trial by Fire Part 1. I think her name's Scorch or something like that. I can't remember now. 
I think she ends up having a romantic relationship with Martian Manhunter, even though he, he's afraid of fire. I can't remember now. Interesting start. Anyway. Because around about at the end of this run, Martian Manhunter died for a while, didn't he? It's one of them deaths that people kind of forgot about, but he was killed, killed off for a bit. Killed off for a time. I think New 52 brought him back, I'm not too sure. All gets very confusing with uh, comic books. So many changes, so many reboots and stuff, so many shuffle arounds. Right, stops dead. The burning is upon us. JLA versus the Martian Manhunter and John Jones and John Jones. Hmm. Mindfield. So three versions of Martian Manhunter against the JLA. Plastic in the sky. Hello. Batman, Wonder Woman, the resolutions. I think they had a bit of a romantic entanglement for a, for a time in this uh, run. I think there was a, a possibility of a romance at one point. Uh, brace yourself for extinction. Apes of Wrath. Is this the same cover as the last one, but uh, like a scene along? Yeah, there's the monkey sitting on the other uh, ape sitting on a, on the uh, tree stump, and the next one he's he's changed somewhat, and uh, it's going down. That's all I can say. It's going down. <laughs> Look at Plastic Man's face has been stomped on. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, extinction event. The tenth circle starts here. John Byrne apparently in charge on this one. John Byrne, Chris Claremont and Jerry Aldway. There's a team. There's a trio of well-known names. The tenth circle strikes again and again and again. Nice split cover. Love it. Ooh, that's not good. Crucifer closes the tenth circle. Definitely some magic shenanigans going on in this storyline, I'm sure. Definably, as we say in this part of the world, definitely something going down there. Not a real word. It's like a portman too or something like definitely and I don't know. Definably. I mean I may be the only person who uses that word, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure my mum said it as a funny word kind of thing. She said definitely. <laughs> she wanted to say definitely. I'm sure she though yeah. The tenth circle doomed as in the Doom Patrol have turned up. Meet the Elite V2 Schism. Pain of the gods begins here. Stopped dead once again. To serve and protect. Manhunt. 
woman's work. <laughs> no more pain. It's a rather moody one of the Batman. One hundred and seven versus Crime Syndicate of America. It begins here. The end. And here we have the Crime Syndicate of America. I think this is the, is it Earth Three? Maybe I think it's Earth Three. Um, Uberman. Superwoman, Owlman, and Power Ring, I believe they're called. Uh, Syndicate Rules. Looks like they've won. Is that a different guy as Power Ring? I think it is, because here it looks like he's a blonde guy. And here is a black man, a bald black man. He looks like a white guy, a white blonde guy. Guy. So I think you can say I think powering is is replaced by another powering. I can't remember what the speed guy is named in uh, from uh, three. I can't remember what his name is now. Got a feeling he's got a bit of a drug problem though. Um, hostile takeover. Is this the crime syndicate dressed up as the Justice League? I think it might be from the looks on their faces. Uh, worlds collide. Facing off against each other. Possibly the big fight at the end. Right, JLE, JSA, DOA. Ooh. Let's get these open so I can show these off to you. Yeah, then arrival, huh? I'm not sure who the robot -y kind of woman is. I can't remember. Long time since I read it. I think she might have been a member of a, a Justice League Extreme, maybe it comes up around this time. Uh. Uh. The good with the bad. So it's like the uh, Crime Syndicate and the Justice League America teamed up. Uh, it had to happen. The unavoidable fallout from the identity crisis begins here. Crisis of conscience. This is where they, after the death of um, Sue Dibney. Oh, this is a Wonder Woman. There's a random one Wonder Woman in here because it crosses over. So there's a Wonder Woman in, inside this. JSA versus Wonder Woman. Uh, breaking the trust. Yeah, Batman's not happy because Hawkman was like um, complicit with uh, Zatanna, um, wiping the, using magic to wipe the brain of uh, Doctor Light to basically make him yeah, basically give him a bit of a magic lobotomy. The secret's out. Fighting some baddies here. Yeah? Kronos, Felix Faust, um, Star Sapphire. You know what I've just realised? I don't know who these two are. I think it's probably the... I don't know who that one is actually. He looks vaguely familiar. Some sort of like wizard guy or something like that. I can't remember. I'm sure he's got some kind of wizardy kind of name. And I'm not so sure who that little fellow is there. It looks a little bit, maybe look like, um, no, he's got some kind of, a uh, Floronic Man. Yeah, I don't know who that guy is. But I just read there's three of those people I got their first appearances. I got the first appearance of Kronos, first appearance of, uh, Star Sapphire, and the first appearance of, um, Felix Faust. Nice. Right, and we got a nice, uh, Tegrov. That's the Tanner saying, forget. Using a, that's what the problem's all about. She used her magic to wipe Dr. Light's brain, turned him in from, from a, yeah, a capable villain into a bit of a joke because uh, she messed with his neurons or whatever. But he had been a, I mean, this is the, yeah, man. 
story, it's not a bad story. I, I hate it though. It's a story that I don't like, but it's not necessarily a badly told story. It certainly hits some very adult themes and some very kind of thought-provoking themes. And um, yeah, I don't really want to know about. I don't want. To, I don't want a superhero world like with my comics that I've known as, as a, from a, being a kid to involve rape and stuff like that. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to. I know it happens in the real world, but I don't want to, my four-coloured like um, action and fun action to be. Uh, tired with that real world horribleness, you know what I mean? It's like, I, mean, I don't mind that if it was a different set of characters or if it was, you know, like a, you know, I don't know, just just a whole new universe of comics, fair enough, you know, that, well, that's kind of been a thing from the off where that kind of dark f f themes are, are, are touched upon, that's fair enough, I don't mind that. It's, I mean, I'm not, it's not that. I'm squeamish about you know necessarily reading stories that've got that kind of dark themes, but I just don't kind of like it coming over into this world. You know what I mean? <laughs> Especially when you start reading the first Silver Age appearances of these characters, and you, you speak to yourself, well, he turns out later on he's he's this and they're that, and they've done this. It's like, ugh, I'd rather not think about those things. <laughs> but there you go. Well, I've got some annuals for you. I'm doing 25 issues in that JLA run, and this is the pulp pulp kind of action ones uh, for this year they're all pulp heroes 1997 is all pulp heroes so the characters are reimagining a pulp kind of looking uh, story so I'm guessing that um, Marshall Manhunt is being a hard boiled detective because he was a detective wasn't he he was John Jones the detective um, 98 it's all ghosts right a uh, couple of 80 page giants uh, JLA 80 page giant number one man who, who can not love an 80 page giant chock full of stories good stuff right uh, JLA their new origins secret files and origins there you go number one secret files and origins number two secret files and origins there you have it. Right, that'll do for this video. Uh, cheers for watching. I shall be back on Sunday with some more, possibly the last from this box. It's fair, quite a fair few still to go, but probably the last from this box. Cheers for watching, and until next time, have a great, amazing day, and may all your news be good news. Have a great amazing day, I'll have a great amazing day, have a great amazing day, I hope you have a great amazing day.